Hey Aquarius, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. Right on. And here is some deep thoughts for you for kind of sort of the rest of September-ish, right? The last reading that I did for you guys, you were just filled with all kinds of despair, right? Well, I want to give you a, a spoiler alert. This reading is beautiful. It's beautiful and you have totally turned over totally turned over. This is a beautiful reading. So Aquarius, of course, this isn't your personal reading, right? This is a general thread that's going through the sign of Aquarius. Um, I talk to so many people on a daily basis that call me because they've watched all the general readings on YouTube and they think that this is their life, right? So although you may see yourself in this reading, maybe it hasn't started, maybe you're in the beginning, maybe you're in the middle, maybe it's over for you. But nevertheless, it's not your reading, okay? So if you have life-changing decisions that you need to make, don't ever do that based on my general readings or anybody else's general readings, okay? Reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get your cards read. For real. I mean, it's really that important, okay? It really is. You can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below, or go to whoever it is that you connect with, right? All right, you guys. So that being said, general reading for the sign of Aquarius. If you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate. If you don't um, resonate with this reading, just leave it on the table and walk away, okay? Leave it on the table and walk away. Don't try to make it fit. We all know what happens when you wear somebody else's shoes. Your feet get all blistered and, and messed up and you can't make any forward progress. So don't try to make this fit if it's not for you. Okay. All right, Aquarius. All right. So here we go. This is a good one. This is a beautiful reading. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. A little bit jacked up on coffee. And no, it's not pumpkin spice. I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> it's regular old coffee. Mm. Our rated channel. If swearing offends you, you might as well click off right now because I can't guarantee that I'm not going to swear. Okay. All right, so you begin this reading, and I'm using a different deck. It's called the Thoth deck, okay? And you'll see as we go how it's a little bit different than regular tarot. So the first card that you come out with is Art. Art is the absolute alchemy, okay? It's, it's the creation of something from nothing, and that's what you're doing here, Aquarius, is that you are creating something from nothing. You're creating yourself, Aquarius. You're creating yourself. You're recreating yourself. It's followed by disappointment, right? You are, you, you're, you're tired of being disappointed. You're tired of not having what you want. You're tired of being a victim of circumstance, right? You're tired of it and you're going to take control of your life. The chariot says that you are going to, that you have the determination, the ability, the desire to take whatever action is necessary to create success in your life. Action, okay? You're going to take some action because you're tired of being disappointed and you are going to create the life that you want, Aquarius justice comes in. This is just that. Where there was an injustice in your life, hence maybe being a victim of circumstance, you're going to change all of that. You're speaking some massive truth to yourself about who you are and what you want your future to look like. Awesome. The princess of discs comes in. This is the princess of pentacles or the page of pentacles, right? This is about manifesting right back to that art card, manifesting what it is that you want in your life. You're tired of being disappointed. You're tired of, of not having the things that you want. So you're going to manifest. What are you going to manifest? The ace of pentacles, brand new opportunities into your life. You're going to create it out of nothing. You're going to manifest brand new opportunities into your life as the Empress, which is interesting to me because you were as far away from the Empress as you could be in your previous reading, right? Very fractured. The Empress is the culmination of all four queens in your deck, in the deck, in, the tar in a tarot deck, okay? The Empress, um, she has her feels in check, she has her mental in check, she has her emotions in check, and she has her security in check. And this is the energy that you are coming into. You're coming into being a whole 
full person with this Empress card, right? You are no longer fractured. And yet sometimes have your security in check, sometimes have your mental in check, sometimes have your passions in check, and sometimes have your feels in check. No, you have it all in check right here with this Empress card to the temperance card because you are determined that there is more for you than life has than than you have been offered thus far in life there's more for you and by golly you're going to create it you're going to create it you're tired of the disappointment and you have i just feel a sense of fierceness here aquarius fierceness right you are going to manifest brand new opportunities into your life because you aren't taking any crap anymore with the Empress. You are doing things your way. You're grabbing the bull by the horns. You're wrestling it to the ground and you are after your purpose in life in this reading. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The Emperor, this is about the, the establishment and the structure of your life. This is the focus of this reading, is the establishment and the structure of your life. This emperor, he takes action, right? When there's a problem, the emperor just doesn't go, eh, it was just my lot in life. No, this emperor is like, oh, hell no. No, this isn't going down like this. Just like the empress, might I add, you have the emperor and the empress in this first row of your reading. This emperor does not lay down. He doesn't lay down. He doesn't accept what it is that, that he doesn't like. He changes things. He is a leader and that's what you are becoming. The emperor, the empress, you are going to create the structure of your life. Love. The two of cups in this deck of cards is simply love. There's no other definition for it. It's just love. This, my friend, is love for yourself. You are coming into your power as the empress. You're coming into your power as the emperor and you are going to create something out of nothing with the art card, right? Love. This is about self love, Aquarius. You are finally coming around to the realization that without self love, you cannot offer anything to anybody else to thine own self be true. You can't be true to yourself. You can't be true to anybody else until you can be true to yourself. And you are coming to a realization that being true to yourself is the most important thing in your life right now. Right? The three of pentacles in, re in reverse. This is about a disregard for skills. This is you not seeing how freaking awesome you are. This is you being caught up in the energy of the previous reading, being caught up in despair and, and wallering in the fact that maybe you weren't dealt the best hand of cards to play. But that's okay because you're going to reconstruct everything in your life out of love for yourself. And this disregard for skills right here, this, this is not, this isn't, this isn't going to be applicable in your life anymore. You're finally seeing your self-worth in this reading, Aquarius. And this is going to bring you to a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. Not only is this about a brand new beginning and a brand new journey, but this is about following your heart. Okay, and that's what you're doing here, Aquarius. You are coming to a metamorphosis, coming through a metamorphosis with a decision that you are the most important person in your life at this particular time. And you are going to create, recreate yourself from a perspective of self-love. And it's interesting because this card is called lust. This card is about an epic love affair, an epic love affair. And who is this with? This is with you. This is with yourself, Aquarius. You are entering into an epic love affair with yourself. If you cannot be true to yourself, you cannot be true to anyone or anything in your life. And you are coming to that realization. 
You're coming to the realization that you need to have an epic love affair with yourself. To the Ace of Swords, some absolute mental clarity, an absolute mental breakthrough because you spent some time with the high priestess, sitting down with your subconscious mind and your intuition, really digging deep to, to come to a realization of what steps it is that you need to take in order to improve your entire life and you have absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity. You're going to have an epic love affair with yourself. Look what follows the card of Aquarius, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality. This is what's in store for you, Aquarius, because you have made the decision to manifest as the empress, to manifest as the emperor, not taking any shit anymore. You're going to take control of your life and you are going to create the life that you want. And the universe comes in and says your reward for taking action is hope, faith, purpose, renewal and spirituality. Beautiful. The card of Aquarius. Beautiful. That's why I love aquas so much. This is just the definition of who you guys are. Hope. Hope that there's always going to be goodness in the world. Faith. Faith that if you believe hard enough, that purpose will be revealed to you. And of course, spirituality. You guys are some of the most spiritual people I've ever met, right? And then renewal. There's always hope, always faith in the fact that there is purpose in renewal over and over and over again. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Ace of Cups in the middle of your reading. This is overwhelming emotion. This is creation. You are creating a brand new Aquarius. You are creating a brand new way of thinking, a brand new way of being, a brand new way of appreciating who you are and what you can do and what your place is in this world followed by the Queen of Swords, posturing, right? Posturing with intellect, logic, and reasoning. Looking at your own self, looking at how you think and feel about yourself and standing up straight as the Queen of Swords and saying, no more, no more, no more more wallering, no more allowing other people to walk on me, no longer being taken advantage of, no longer being sad about or in despair about the state of being. You are not taking it anymore. You are cutting out all of the bullshit and you are heading into hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality in your life creating two of cups relationships right relationships in your life this doesn't have to be a love relationship this is self-love this is you this is you creating what you want in your life ace of cups creation in the emotions queen of swords somebody using reason logic and intellect to be able to formulate a thought pattern to the Two of Cups that is going to recreate your ability to have good, solid relationships with people in your life. The Queen of Discs, she comes in. This is the Queen of Pentacles, right? She comes in and she talks about being grounded, being secure, being really, really good with who you are. The Queen of Pentacles, she's so good with who she is, she knows she's the shit, right? When people want things done, they come to the Queen of Pentacles. When they want advice, they come to the Queen of Pentacles. When they need direction, they come to the Queen of Pentacles. She is solid as they come. And this is who you are becoming, right? You are becoming not only everything that you need to be to yourself, 
but you are creating a new way of thinking that is going to create meaningful, valuable relationships in your life. The magician. You're manifesting this. It goes right back to this art card, right? The very first card that was out. You are creating your life the way that you want your life to be. Alchemy is the creation of something out of nothing. And that's what you're doing, Aquarius. You are creating, recreating yourself. Because you've come to the conclusion that if you cannot be true to yourself, you cannot be true to anyone or anything in your life. And you're putting yourself first. And you are manifesting the person that you want to be and the people that you want to be in your life. It's beautiful. Sorry. I'm sorry, when I start channeling my nose, it's just like crazy. The Hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection to the Prince of Wands about what your next course of action is. What is the inspired action it is that you're going to take? Soul searching, introspection about inspired action. Prince of Swords comes in the middle of all of this. This is you taking action. This is you actually taking action action to find what it is that inspires you derived from soul searching and introspection soul searching and introspection about what passionate inspired action you need to take next in your life and then this knight of swords right here this prince of swords is you actually doing it right actually doing it futility with the seven of swords, right? You're done. You're done doing things for no reason. You're done doing things that don't get you the results that you want. You're done taking futile action and never seeing any results. And this results in the sun, happiness, success, and vitality for you, Aquarius. It's beautiful. And guess what? The universe has your back. The universe, this is the world card. One life cycle ending, a new life cycle beginning for you. This is source. This is universe saying, finally, 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 Aquarius, you are seeing the bigger picture. Finally, you are understanding what it is that needs to be done in your life in order to bring you out of an old cycle and into a new cycle. This is the universe. They have your back. And now that you have done the work that needs to be done, they are opening the portal for you to enter into a brand new life cycle. Clean sheet of paper, brand new fresh pen that you can write a new story with. It's beautiful, beautiful. Ace of Swords, absolute mental clarity to the Princess of Cups about what it is you're going to create in your life. Absolute mental clarity about what it is that you're going to create in your life to the Tower. Because you have had a massive awakening. A massive awakening. Absolute massive awakening to the Princess of Wands. This is about decisions and discovery and a renewed sense of en enthusiasm, right? This is your, your awakening. Your awakening is, is that I don't need to live the way that I've always lived. I can recreate myself, adapt a new way of thinking and a new way of feeling and a new value system. And I can have a renewed sense of enthusiasm and excitement when it comes to what happens in my life. To the Princess of Pentacles, this is manifesting. What are you doing? You are manifesting options in your life. You're manifesting a life where you actually have choices about your future. To the Death card. 
because of a massive personal transformation. This is the ending of the old you and the beginning of the new you. This is beautiful. This is a massive personal transformation. And I am so glad to see this because the last reading that I did for you guys was heavy. It was about being in a state of despair, right? But not anymore. Uh-uh, Aquarius, you have pulled yourself up from the bootstraps and you are not going to waller in despair any longer. You are taking control of your life and you are taking action to do what needs to be done. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. A brand new beginning and a brand new journey following your heart's desire. This is beautiful. Absolute mental clarity, sitting down with your subconscious mind and your intuition, right? Creating who it is that you want to be. Manifesting who it is that you want to be. Taking inspired action brings you success, vitality into your life. The universe has your back. They're saying, yes, way to go. Aquarius, we've been waiting for you to get to this point so we can unfold what we have in store for you. We could not unfold what was in store for you before because you were not in the right frame of mind to make it work. The universe isn't going to give you something so you can fuck it up. They're not going to do that. Whether it's a soulmate relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a, any other kind of relationship in your life, whether anything at all, the universe is not going to bring something into your life and, and hand it to you when you're not in the mental to handle what they have for you. This card is saying you are now in the mental to handle what's coming for you. And what's coming for you is beautiful. What's coming for you, Aquarius, is absolutely beautiful. Man, I do hope that this resonated with you. I really, really do. I hope that this resonated with you. But remember, don't ever make life-altering decisions on anyone's general tarot card readings, okay? Contact your favorite reader, get your cards read, and figure out what's the backstory, what's the real story for you, and what's really coming just for you down the road, okay? deepthoughtswithdana.com in the box below. Um, yeah, namaste.